Yes, yes, it's me, it's you, it's us, it's your boy Ricky from Scouts Connect and welcome to our brand new series, the series where we give you all the information in regards to what Scouts are looking for. I've been talking to the big boss, he's given me the benefit of his 20 years of experience in the beautiful game and I am now giving it to you. Today's episode is on discipline. Look, Discipline is probably the most important topic that we will be talking about because in all the other episodes that we're going to cover, you can implement discipline into every one of those subjects. You need discipline in every area of your life, not just in football, but in everything, just in just general. You need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined with your time. You need to be disciplined in regards to your preparation. You need to be disciplined in being able to take on responsibilities. You need to be disciplined in being able to take on constructive criticism. And you need to be disciplined in how you carry yourself. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is time. Be disciplined with your time management. Look, if you know your trial is at nine o'clock or whatever time, say nine o'clock, don't get there at 10 to nine. Don't get there at five to nine. Don't get there at quarter to nine. Don't even get there at half past eight. Get there at eight. Just get there at eight. Be disciplined. Go to bed early the night before. When your alarm goes off, don't hit the snooze button. Be disciplined. Get yourself out of bed and head to where you gotta go. Imagine how good you will look if you are already at the training ground, stretching, doing drills, doing research whilst the scouts are turning up. You telling me that they won't see that? You don't, you don't, okay, are you honestly telling me that a scout rocks up and they're like, okay, you know, we've got an hour until we go, that's like, you know, let's do what we got to do. And then they see that there's already a kid out there stretching, doing drills, shooting practice, running laps. You have instantly just caught their eye. So you telling me that like now when the match has started or the training session started, that they're not keeping an eye out for you because they're going to be going, wait, where's that kid? Where's that kid that came early that was all doing the stretches and the shooting? Oh, there he is. There, there. All right, let's keep an eye on him. Let's see what he does. Trust me, it goes a long way. Be disciplined. And also, if you know that you have got a training session or a trial or a match the night before, for the love of God, don't go out the night before. Just just don't do it. Don't do it. Go out after. Go out. Reward yourself. See it as an opportunity. You know what? If I have a good training session or a good match, I'm going to go out and enjoy myself because you need that. You need to be able to switch yourself off and just step away from things. It's just good for your mental well-being. And there's a time and place for it, but the time and place for it isn't the night before a match, a trial or a training session. Be disciplined and make that sacrifice and go to your friends. You know what, guys? I'll catch up with you after. I've got a trial tomorrow. I'm gonna get a nice early sleep, nice early bedtime. Get up, get prepared, have a good breakfast, get to the training ground or the facility nice and early and start getting to work. I promise you, it will go a long way. And that sort of leads into being disciplined in your preparation. Like you need to know in terms of, right, okay, this team that I've got, I've got a trial for, they're a very defensive team. So what I'm not gonna do is make sure that I'm getting out of, sh out of out of line if the, if the coach says I need you to hold the line or I need you to drop back or I need you to press be disciplined and do that like be disciplined with your research know who you are actually going to trial for like if you're not a, a defensive minded player and you're and you just know that defense isn't your gift and yet Atletico Madrid under Simeone come in for you sorry that's going to be the wrong team for you so like be disciplined in your research and be disciplined in knowing what you can actually bring to the team. Do what you do best. Like if you are the passer, if you are gifted with a left foot or a right foot that's an absolute wand, when you get the ball, don't try and beat your man. Look up and see if you've got the gift of spraying them 60 yard Steven Gerrard passes, do it because that is what you're gifted at. And that's what the scouts are going to look at. They're going to go, yeah, he was actually a very good passer. Instead of you going, right, let me try and impress him. Uh, I'm going to try and beat my man. I'm going to try and do some step over, some fancy tricks, try and beat that defender, and, beat that, and then you lose the ball. Because now what's happened is that scout's going to go, yeah, that, 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 that number six, yeah, he, he had six dribbles and lost the ball five times. 
I don't know what, instead of them going, you know what, that number six, he done four great passes, 40 yards, 50 yards to the player's foot. We'll bank that because if our coaches, if we need a passer, we know where to go. So be disciplined in knowing who you are. Like, take time to go, right, what do I do well? Right, actually, I'm very technical minded. I'm very good at tricks and stuff like that. I can get out of tight spaces. Use that to your advantage. Don't try and be someone else because you think that's what the scouts are going to be impressed by. Scouts are going to be impressed by you and what you do best. And if you know what you do best at a young age, then you're just helping them because they know that they can put you in a certain team or a certain program where you will flourish. So be disciplined in knowing who you are as a footballer. Also, you're going to have to be disciplined throughout the entire match in, in terms of how you play. There's no good starting the first 10 minutes of the game and being amazing and then just stinking up the place for the last half an hour. Of the game. Like, no one's expecting you to be perfect and get that out of your mind because you're not. You're not going to be perfect. But if you know that you can press the ball well, then do that for 90 minutes. Because again, scouts are going to be impressed by that. They're going to go, wow. Not, he played with the same intensity from the second the first whistle went to the last whistle went. So just play with all your heart and be disciplined. Know what you, do what you do best throughout. Be consistent. Like Don't, don't think, oh yeah, I, I scored a wicked goal in the first half. I'm just going to like now relax and just take it easy. That ain't enough. That's not enough because scouts don't want people that can be good for 10 minutes. They want someone that can be good for 90 minutes. And you may think, oh, well, that's a bit unfair. Whatever. They don't care. They don't care. They want you to play the same way that you played in the first five minutes and throughout the entire game. They want you to play with the same consistency. And that's going to take discipline because it's going to come a time where you're going to think, right, all right, my team's actually 2-0 up. Can I take my foot off the pedal? No, 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 no. Don't take your foot off the pedal. Just keep doing what you do best. Look, going back to the passer, if it's if you made four good passes and then you make two bad passes, well, still continue trying to make those passes because that's your game. Like, you've got to forget the bad moments because bad moments will happen on the pitch. You might miss an absolute sitter. You might have had a badly timed tackle. You might have not picked up your man on a corner and then either your team's let a goal in. Mistakes happen, you can't stop it from happening after it's already happened. So it's already happened, your job is now to make sure it doesn't happen again. So don't let your emotions get the best of you. Like stay calm, stay collect, stay focused. And that requires discipline. It's so easy to lose your head. Like if your centre back has misplaced a pass, which has led to you got you guys losing a goal. Don't scream and shout at him. Don't let your heads drop. If the referee's given a couple of dodgy decisions that have gone against you, don't get... M it's easier said than done. I know there's a word that we all love to call the referee, and sometimes the referee is acting like that word. But don't lose your composure. Stay calm. Stay collect. And that will impress the scouts. They'll go, wow. That's a very mature uh, performance by that player because a couple of decisions went his way and he should have been really angry, but he just kept on going. He just picked himself up and just kept on doing what he did best. And that requires a lot of discipline. And with discipline comes practice. You've got to practice these things. They won't just come overnight. You've got to put them into practice from now. Just start putting them into practice and then just keep working on them and working on them and aiming. And also be disciplined in the way that you take instructions. Like, are you a coachable person? Like, if the manager is shouting at you or the coaches or someone is, or the scouts are telling you to do X and Y and Z, don't go on the defensive. Bite your tongue. Bite your tongue and just listen to what they have to say. Because at the end of the day, if you listen to what they say, you're going to get scouted. Because no one wants someone that's going to go rogue. Every manager up and down the country, whether it's Premier League or Conference League, they've got a style of play. And they need players that can play within that system. And if you're sat there whilst the manager is giving instructions and you're just on the, you know, on the outside of the circle, just doing your own thing, not really paying attention, the scouts are watching. I promise you, they are watching. They are like hawks. And if they see you not paying attention, and if they see during the game that the coach has said to you four times, track back, push, press, keep your head up, and you're just doing your own thing, 
that's a that's a that's a cross over your name. They're just gonna go, nah. He don't take instructions well. He's he's not coachable. We don't want someone like that. We can't get someone like that scouted. So they're just gonna forget you, and then they're gonna start looking at the person is. Oh, but actually, that guy on the other team, every time his manager says, do this or do that, oh yeah, he does it. And you may not necessarily do it to the best of your ability. Like, you may not be the best presser of the ball. You may not be the best defender. You may not be the strongest when it comes to marking your man from a free kick or a corner. But if the scout can see that you're trying, and you do, they can, they can put you in a system and get you in touch with coaches and stuff like that that can help you to become better at those things. But if you're just flat outright refusing to do those things, they're gonna start looking at the other person. And get into the habit of doing this. Even if you have had a horrible game or you just can't stand your coach and you think someone's being unfair or whatever, don't lose your cool. Don't do a Ronaldo at the end and just rip off your armband and walk off the pitch. At the end of every training session, after every trial, after every match, if you know there's a scout there, or go go up to your coach, go up to the scouts and go, oh, hello there, thank you for the opportunity, or thank you for coming to watch me. Do you have any feedback? Imagine how good you're gonna look, that you go up to someone and go, oh, hello there, um, would you mind giving me some honest feedback? Use that word, honest feedback on how I've done and how I can improve. Because straight away, you are standing out, because they're like, wow, this is someone that is looking to get better. This is someone that is willing to learn from their mistakes. This is someone that is willing to do what it takes to get to the next level. And sometimes you have to swallow a lot of pride to do that. And that will make you stand out. I promise you, it just will. It just will. Imagine if you were the other end. Imagine that you were the scout and you've watched 22 players playing a game. You've made your notes and you're the only one. You're the only one. And imagine someone on that pitch scored a hat trick and he doesn't come up and ask for any feedback or something like that. You have now stole the limelight of that play because you, out of everyone, has come out and gone, hello, Mr. Scout, hello, Mr. Coach, how can I improve? And look him in the eye. Be a man and look him in the eye and say, how can I improve? I'd really appreciate your feedback since you took the time to come and see me. You have stood out from everyone and I promise you, that coach, that scout, that manager will remember you. Like I've said guys, discipline is just so, so important. It takes strength, it takes mental strength, it takes courage, and you will find that throughout all the other episodes, you need to implement discipline in all these other areas. And if you do that, you're just gonna become a better person and a better player. As always, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our socials. I will be back next week with another episode to give you all that golden information that you need. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.